Hey everybody, it's Saturday, sit back and chill day. And basically I have four items to talk about today. Uh, this, uh, let's see, this would be June. No, <laughs> this is July, I'm sorry. We're gonna talk about, hey, are people still leaving Adobe Photoshop for all the nonsense that's happening out there? So we're gonna talk about that quickly. Uh, second issue is about some coming up uh, courses I'm planning on doing. And uh, we're gonna talk a little bit more about that and your ideas. And then the third issue is taking a look at watching me work on an image creatively as an art piece that's based on some of your responses back to me. So we're gonna talk about that. And the last thing is number four, I got a question from Robert Fontaine, one of our, the subscribers, and I will do a quick demo for you at, toward the end of this video. Are we ready for this? Let's go. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to the channel, this is dedicated to photography and as a photo artist, pushing ourselves, uh, our creativity beyond just like um, normal stuff and uh, you know, just share ideas, that kind of stuff. And, and about once a month, I'm doing this Saturday sit back and chill out time. Um, have your favorite beverage, which in my case would be this water right here. But you know, hey, grab a beer or a wine or whatever you like, a soda. And uh, let's talk about four issues here. And number one issue is, hey, am I gonna quit Adobe Photoshop? Because I'm still getting the response from people. And the answer is no. Um, there's no other product out there that does anything uh, close to what I personally really need. But there's other products out there that might fit your needs. So the reason I'm bringing this up again is a company that uh, I really admire their product. I tested it, uh, I, the trial version, maybe about a year ago. And it's probably one of my favorite, uh, say, um, uh, imagery software um, that if I couldn't choose Photoshop or use Photoshop, that's the one I would probably use. So let's talk about it. And it's called Affinity. Affinity Photo, uh, if you haven't got the email right now or haven't heard, uh, they are offering you their entire suite of products, which is three, which is Affinity Photo, Affinity Design, which is equivalent to like Illustrator, an Adobe product, and Affinity Presentation, which is equivalent to InDesign. Uh, the whole suite is on sale for 50% off, but you can get the trial version, get this now, the trial version for six months, no credit card needed, all right? And also, if you tried one of their trial versions, like, like I don't know, three, four months ago, it will still work for you. So I think this is a great offer. Am I taking advantage of it? You bet. Am I gonna buy it? No, I haven't made up my mind yet, but here's what I wanna do and I want your feedback on this. If you can make comments on this, that would be helpful to me. I like the fact that I get to play with this and use this for six months. Last time it was a small amount. I can't remember if it was 15 days or 30 days. And I got busy and I couldn't really dive in deep enough into the product. I just focused on doing composite work and stuff. And still Photoshop is the elite product. It's far more superior, but I'm looking at, hey, maybe Affinity Photo has some features in it that is easier and faster to do than Photoshop, let's say, or it has some really cool effects and other features that I really can't do in Photoshop. So I'm thinking about possibly adding this as a plug-in to Photoshop, like an add-in. Now it can't work truly like a plug-in, I don't think. Uh, in other words, I don't think I can install it and, and sort of hack a certain way to have it. Uh, show up in Photoshop under my filter drop down menu, you know, and, and see Affinity Photo there to work, you know, within Photoshop that, uh, you know, to sort of like circle around, open up in Affinity, it goes right back into Photoshop. That's called round tripping. Um, haven't had a chance to see if that's possible or not, but here's my point. If I can find, you know, three, four things that work faster or do something really creative, really you know, unique situations that I really like that I can't do in Photoshop or would take too long to do in Photoshop, uh, I might just purchase that product and use it as a supplemental plugin uh, when I need to use those features. Because even if it's not on sale, 
that product is well under a hundred dollars and you know and there's always sales going on you know we got this black friday coming up during the holidays you know and then there's cyber monday and who knows what's going to be available but anyhow um, i want to know your thoughts do you um, think that you're going to try affinity photo and get to you know play with it for six months for free no credit card information you know nothing just sign up and get it for free and really work it and use it over a six month period and uh, let me know um, if you if you are discovering any features in it that look totally unique that you can't do in Photoshop or would be hard to do in Photoshop, let me know because that's what I'm hunting for right now. So put it in the comments if you can. But again, I'm just wondering if you're going to take advantage of you know, the offer that uh, Affinity Photo and the other two products that they have uh, for free for the next six months. Okay, so that was issue number one. Issue number two is, um, I have to apologize. I thought I'd have some classes done by now. I just got, I don't know, too much. I, I took on too much <laughs> client work and stuff. And plus I do a lot of personal traveling. Plus I do have a social life. And I didn't get what I wanted to get done and have it offered uh, this summer. So this is going to be on the back burner. Maybe uh, it will happen uh, in the winter time or going into you know the beginning of next year. But uh, I am working on uh, a minimum of two courses. I, um, I tried to share with you that I don't want to go over uh, $10 on these courses. Uh, there are courses that I actually do live uh, classes on and they're $150 to $100 for like a half day workshop. So um, I just haven't had a chance to complete and do those, but uh, hopefully that will be happening by the end of the year because I got a couple of emails. People are asking, oh, I haven't seen any new courses on buymeacoffee.com forward slash Stephen Photo Artist. Uh, you'll have the link right there. Um, by the way, thank you to the people that have been um, actually buying me a coffee, contributing to the channel, because this is not monetized. And um, going back on Affinity, just as a quick note, um, I have no affiliation with Affinity to promote their product. Uh, I'm just curious about the product. And so uh, whether you buy it or not, uh, I'm not getting any type of kickback. And there's no affiliate link, that kind of stuff. So working on courses. Um, Hopefully I've got, you know, at least one by the end of the year and I'll be working on a couple more going into uh, next year for you guys. Okay, the third issue, number three is watch me working on an image uh, artistically from capture to the end. Let me know if that's an interest uh, that you have, because if I do that, uh, this video is going to be like, 45 minutes to maybe an hour long just on that one image because when I work on things creatively, I'll look at an image and think, where do I want to go with this image, you know, from point A to B, and then I'll start working in Photoshop and I'll try different things and I go, mm, I'm not happy with that, so I'm going to back out of that and I'm going to try something else in a different direction. In other words, it's not a perfect everything I do is going to fall into place. It's watching me try things and go, mm, I didn't like that. Let's back off of that and let's try something different. So you're going to see a lot of hit and miss to finally come up with that finished product. And again, these are projects that I do uh, for clients that are specific to that image. Uh, and, you know, I'm getting paid to work that long on something to create art. It could be abstract. Um, it, it varies. But the point is, is that worth you watching me and maybe me doing that once a month or maybe once every month. Uh, and again, it would take about uh, 45 minutes to an hour to do that. Let me know in the comments if that's something you'd be interested in because I need some feedback to see if this is worth my time to, to even do it. And I know you're asking, could I do live stuff? Um, I haven't had time to look at software and learn how to do live streaming. Uh, and it, you know, I'm a one person show, so I don't even know if that's possible, but I can sit down and just turn on the recorder and have you watch me, you know, just start from point A to B and watch me change my mind on my direction and my choices in the software. So anyhow, let me know in the comments regarding that. And then the very last thing, and I have to do a demo here on this one. So if you made it this far, I got about a six minute demo. And uh, this comes from Robert uh, Fontaine. And Robert uh, had sent me an email. He says, I have a question. I've been watching your videos this morning. Very helpful, you know, um, and blah, blah, blah. Uh, but he says, I noticed 
that in the lower right corner of your screen, you have various signatures and logos for your images. And he talks about how he does different branding on his images. And he says, um, it looks like what I'm doing is faster and easier. And can you share how you did that? So again, uh, this is going to be for Robert. So are we ready? Let's get started. Hey, Robert, hopefully this uh, will help you out. And I think uh, you were talking about this area down here in the lower right corner. Uh, it's called libraries is the panel. Uh, that should be open by default. If not, go to your window drop down menu and make sure that's activated right there. So anyhow, that allows you to organize different assets that you can share back and forth. I've got different categories. You'll find there's a folder down here that you can create your own little groups and stuff. But uh, I've got one that says text, and that's probably what you were uh, referring to when you saw some of my videos, uh, seeing that library panel open there. So to create something to go in there, um, I'm just going to do something uh, very basic. So you can go to the, let's go File, Dropdown Menu, choose New. And in this dialog box, let's see if I don't, I don't remember if I have this saved. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm looking for, well, I'm just going to start with this. We'll go with a, I guess I didn't save it, um, just to save time here. Four inches by two inches high, uh, 300 resolution. That's what I want to have. I want to make sure that's uh, set. And then just click on create. And we need to start with something. <clears throat> and with just a, a plain uh, white background. Now I'm going to grab my uh, type tool, which is right here in the toolbar, or just select a letter T to grab that. Find a font that you really like, or maybe you're going to design your own, so you could do any kind of work that you want. But if you design your stuff, make sure it's uh, on a, a layer, transparent layer. This will make more sense in a minute. Uh, I don't have to do that because I'm using text. So the font, um, I'm just going to keep this font right here just for demo purposes. I'm going to click in here and just type in what I want to you know, say in my signature for my images. So it will be, um, I'll, just, I'll do Stephen Photo Artist. Okay, after I have that done, let me just increase the size of that. So Control-T, Command-T on a Mac to expand that up a little bit. There we go. Enter on the keyboard. And if you want to add any kind of effects or change the colors, uh, you'll see over here in your layers panel down here is FX right here. If you click on this and come down to like um, color overlay as an example, you can go over here and choose a different color if you want. I mean, you know, that's up to you. You're still designing this. I'm going to keep mine uh, at black right there. And uh, I'm going to go over here, maybe do a drop shadow. Um, you could play the you know the distance of the shadow, and um, I'm, maybe I'll do do that just again for demo purposes, and uh, play around with maybe the opacity. So the opacity, maybe I'll lighten it up a little bit. Okay, once you got it designed, and I, I click on OK to accept that change or modification. Notice that because I did a uh, text, uh, it put a text layer on there. So that means my background was left alone. If I turn the eyeball off, this is what I want to save. I need a transparent background right there. So with that done, after I design that, I want to load it in libraries. So what you do is grab your move tool, V like in Victor, or grab it right here. And I'm just going to click down on this and click and drag it into libraries right here, let go, and it loads it right there. Now I want to talk about this. It loaded it here, because I'm connected to the internet, it, it goes up to the cloud. And I've got Photoshop installed on a laptop that I use when I travel or do client work on location. Once I turn on that computer and it connects to the internet, it automatically in the background will load that in my laptop version of Photoshop. So it's really cool if I create something in a laptop, and put it in libraries, it will update. And by the way, just to show you over here in libraries, uh, it, it doesn't, you know, it's not limited to just text. You can have objects in there, colors, overlays, like I have a list of the, uh, things, the different overlays I loaded in there by just clicking and dragging it in. You just open it up in Photoshop, click and drop it in. Okay, so 
with that out of the way, let me show you a couple different ways of how to use this and be aware of this. So I'm going to close out. I don't need to save it. Uh, I just need to open up an image. Let's grab this one. And to put my signature in this, let's zoom in a little bit. If I come over here to libraries, and I'm going to do this two different ways. I'm just going to click and drag into my photo, let go. And then you could get in there and resize this, whatever size you need it, you know, move it to the location you want. And when you're done, just choose enter. Okay. The other way is when I select this over here and I hold the alt key down, that would be option on a Mac and don't let go. So I'm clicking and dragging in. Now I let go of the mouse. Now I let go of the keyboard. And again, control T to resize that. Uh, and again, personal preference on this. And that is if we take a look at these two layers here, notice the difference. The first one comes in as a smart object. This one doesn't come in as a smart object and it's showing you all the effects that you had. Now, one of the things you could do is if you like to see all these effects because you want to change something, well, I can just go over here, double click and just change that to, I'll just throw it up to red right there. And yeah, you know, I changed the color. This one, I have to double click first, open this up, then make my change over here, save it, and then close out and update that. So it's just extra steps. Um, if you just click and drag over, uh, I prefer holding the Alt key down on a PC. That would be option on a Mac and then click and drag it over. So I always end up with this, what we see at the very top. Okay, hopefully that answers your question. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions about what I just did, uh, working within the library and creating signatures to put in there, um, email address right here, stephenphotoartist at gmail.com. Feel free to email me. Uh, let me know, you know say, hey, I missed something or I didn't quite understand what you're doing. If you have suggestions on anything we should be doing in the future, let's do it. Um, with all that out of the way, um, if you guys can do me a favor, and that is make some comments at the very bottom. Just want to recap. Uh, are you going to jump onto Affinity products? Uh, let me know and see what you think. And then um, would you want to watch me work on an image from point A to point B. Again, put that in the comments. Uh, I'd, I'd like to know on that. Okay, so with that out of the way, hey, let's do the same thing I typically talk about a lot. Excuse me. Hey, chill out. It's Saturday. Uh, and that is get that camera out, force yourself to creatively think out of the box, make mistakes, because that's how we learn. Until next time, see ya.